Well, welcome Curd Nerds. This is a short video on how to sanitise your equipment for cheese making. Over to Gav. Okay, to sanitise all your equipment, very simple. All you need is the stock pot that you're going to make the cheese in anyway. So we take the lid off. We put about two inches of water. So put a couple of cups. This is just a normal metric cup, 250 ml. So put half a litre of water in the bottom of the pot. Uh, very easy to do. And then all you do is grab your cheese cloths. You pop them in. You grab your measuring spoons, pop them in as well, and you grab your thermometer. Make sure that's just clipped on the side so the probe's in there. And you also put your stirring spoon in there as well. Now, if you're making cream cheese, you'll also need a ladle. So pop the ladle in as well. And if, you're, if you need to cut your curd at any stage, put a long knife in there as well. So all the stainless steel equipment put in there and also put your cheese cloths in there. Now you bring to the boil and then for 15 minutes make sure you pop the lid on that captures all the steam. Just like that, very simple, don't need it to be too complicated. So you boil it for 15 minutes and then when it's finished take the lid off, turn it off and pull all the equipment out. So once all your stuff's boiled this also cleans the pot as well in case you've got any what's called cheese stone. So that's leftover curds that you haven't quite got out correctly. Yes, it's called cheese stone. So, and then take all your equipment out, pop it on your nice clean tea towel on the side. And I usually use silicon tongs. So I pull that out so I don't burn myself. And you'll also need a colander. So just a simple stainless steel colander like this. And I spray that with white vinegar and then wipe that off with a clean tea towel, pop that in the sink and you put your cheese cloth in that. So that's how you drain your curds and whey. Just make sure before you put your colander into the sink that the sink area is clean and that's all the way around. So the drainer, make sure it's all sprayed down with white vinegar and then it's nice and clean, free of molds and free of bacteria. So you've got a nice safe environment to make your cheese. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can pick up all your supplies and equipment over at littlegreenworkshops.com.au.